First degree from Wellesley College, a medical degree from Duke University, a doctoral degree in microbiology from the University of Alabama, Birmingham, and an MBA degree with distinction from the University of Michigan of Ann Arbor. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Dean of the School of Medicine. You know, in a person's lifetime, there may only be about a half a dozen occasions where he or she can look back with the certain knowledge that right then, at that very moment, there was room for nothing but happiness in their heart. I view the celebration to be one of those occasions. You, the students, have worked extremely hard to get to this point. You are starting on a journey that is to last a lifetime. But please remember, you did not get here alone. There are many family members and loved ones who loved and supported you all along the way. So please remember to thank them. And I want to say to the families, gosh, you must be very proud. Thank you for all the love and sacrifice you gave to your, your children so that they can be here today. Caring for patients and researching their ailments attract a very special breed of smart and dedicated men and women. All of your students are very special. As you enter this career, know that medicine is more than a job. It's actually more than a profession. Medicine is a noble calling that captures your heart. It certainly captured mine the first time someone called me doctor. I expect you will have the same emotion. I hope you look back on the celebration as one of those very special occasions when you have no room in your heart for anything other than pure happiness. Congratulations to the class of 2017. I look so forward to working with you. Well, we'll move on to the, uh, the long-awaited portion of the ceremony where we present the white coats. Uh, announcing each student's name today is Dr. Randy, Randy Canterbury, who, as I introduced earlier, is our Senior Associate Dean for Education. And he's been a member of our faculty since 1984. He serves as the Wilford Spradlin Professor of Psychiatric and Internal Medicine. Please welcome Dr. Randy Canterbury. And um, I'm so, I'm, the uh, alumni association scripts everything for me because they don't trust me, but I'm going to deviate and say that I want to congratulate SMD 17 also. It's really a delight to be able to do this each year and especially this year for you. Um, we'll be calling the students' names up in alphabetical order uh, by their college. And I know all the students know what the colleges are, but I want to take just a moment to explain to everybody else. In 2010, we implemented a new curriculum called the Next Generation Curriculum. Um, that was to really um, uh, educate our students in what we believe is a much better way that, than medical education has been conducted historically. Um, and along with that, we uh, wanted to look at the way we serve our students and figure out if there was a way we could serve them better. Um, and the way we decided to do that was to divide the class into four different colleges, or four different groups, uh, and have a student affairs dean assigned to each one. So now, rather than having one student affairs, affairs dean who has to get to know 161 students when they arrive at the School of Medicine, we have uh, four deans who get to know very well somewhere around 38 or so students uh, in their college. Um, and so the number accumulates each year over four years, of course, and that gives us an opportunity for older students to serve as mentors for the younger ones as well. So we have this uh, opportunity for some vertical mentoring, if you will, within the School of Medicine. 
Um, that today, the college deans will have the honor uh, of placing the white coats on the students. Um, some of these students in this class have immediate family members who are either alumni of the School of Medicine, former residents, or current faculty members. And these legacy students will be presented with their coats by their physician family members. The students of the Douglas and College will now receive their coats. To present the coats is Dr. Meg Keeley, Dean of the Douglas and College. Uh, Dr. Keeley is a 1992 graduate of the School of Medicine, a professor of pediatrics, and currently serves on the Medical Alumni Board of Directors. I'm sure all the Douglas students will join me in bringing Dr. Keeley up to the stage. We have a photographer uh, right in front of the stage who will be taking photographs that will be available for complimentary download uh, online. So feel free to smile, a big smile at the camera when you uh, receive your code. Now to the audience. This is really important, okay? So listen carefully. If you don't want to be here for breakfast tomorrow morning, <laughs> Hold your applause to the very end. I know it's difficult to do. It's like trying not to take a drink of water on a day like today. But nonetheless, uh, this will proceed at a snail's pace if you applaud after every person gets their coat. So just hold it. It'll be, it'll be tough, but you can do it. I have great confidence. Okay, now on to the students of Douglasson College. First, we have Andrew Americk. <laughs> Wesley Anderson. <laughs> Daniel Alfonso Angeles. <coughs> Faridan Azari. Ted Babbitt. Ingabire Belinda. Matthew Baltz. Renee Booth. <laughs> Kenneth Barecki. <laughs> Kristen Boulier. Billy Boyd. Christina Briscoe. Sean Burke. Benjamin Carter. <laughs> Robert Case, Jr. And Robert will have his coat presented by his father, Dr. Robert Case, a former resident and fellow from the Department of Medicine. <laughs> Thomas Jackson Christian the third Jordan Conger
Joe Cooper. <laughs> Samuel Cross. Madison Crutcher. Chris Daly. <laughs> David Durkett. Lisa Edwards. Jacqueline Fabricius. Abed Fazel. Priya Fazdar.